Right, I'm coming down through here. There are a couple following me. The only thing is with this bit, you've got to watch how it's slippery. It's very frosty down here. Looks like the bleak midwinter down here. These people don't know about there's no paths and that. <sighs> Just trying to think which way I go up. Frosty, that is. <sighs> Over and out. It's still playing. Right, I'm on one of the nature trails on the other side of Black Rock where the woods are here. And this was all tied up with mining and quarrying and all sorts of things in the past. I just followed the these steps here. Um, all these features here do look like old Iron Age type features. Um, like these humps and bumps around here. And just over there, I'll just zoom in, there's people coming down the steps I was on a good hour ago. Maybe less than an hour I was going down those. Um, there are, the steps aren't too bad, it's not the steps so much. As further up, when it's um, no steps and it's sort of slippery, bumpy rocks. Um, I seen a group of young women earlier, and they were. One of them had a baby on a on her back, and I thought, God, that's dangerous. You know, she slipped. She could kill the child if she fell on her back, or she could kill herself. I thought it's very really dangerous. It was so slippery. Another. It amazes me the number of people who don't. Well, you don't always wreck it. When, you're, when you go somewhere for the first time, you go exploring. I mean, quite often I'm up the top there, going along, round to Longwood and then back down this way, or up across here, but I did it the other way round last time. But see, people don't... You don't know, when you're first doing, a, say, the Cheddar Gorge walk, you don't know where you're going. There's not a great deal of signposting. There is some really good signposting you just have to keep going till you come to another one don't branch off but you can get a basic map of the route from a shop there we go again look group of people now all wondering what, what, if they, if it's worth the risk. I mean, you can get over the stile there and go in the field and go up around the top way through piney slights. I mean, it's all right. You can do it. You can do it if you just... Two more people coming down. If you just take your time. Hello, everyone's doing the same for following... Two more people now. 
Yeah, you just have to take your time. I'll be near the alapacas in a minute. Like I said, <clears throat> a couple of months ago I did the top right round down over to Longwood and up round Pony Slights, across the fields. <sighs> Today I'm going for a little wander in this little wood. It's the nature trail I'm on. <clears throat> in fact, it probably would never have been boggy up the top there at the moment. If I had done that route, I sort of avoided it, but I'm boggy. I'm covered in mud anyway. But if I'd done that route, it would be hard like this. And up there, I probably would have been less boggy if I'd done literally the route I normally do. But then I thought to myself, you haven't done this little trail for a while. The cows will be out. They come here as well, the cows. They go everywhere, the cows do. There's no panic. There's no rush. I'll just check the time. It's 20 to 1. So, I say, uh, half past 10. Up was an up was 11, up was 12. It's about two hours, that's all so far. And I was going very, very slow. So I could knock off half an hour, really. Did I say 20 to 1? Or 20 to 2? I can't remember now. Have another look. Uh, 20 to 1. Now from up here, you can also see... Robert Warren, which I talk about a lot, and I was in that wood again not very long ago. I was in Robert Warren and the air of outstanding beauty in Piney Slates Farm and Ashdown Farm not long ago. And there's the masts. Nobody coming this way. It's a quiet walk. It's all got a history. People do go here though. But they haven't been here. Well, they might have been. This is all frozen solid. This is. I wouldn't be surprised if there haven't been some sort of residence here at one point. Nestled in these rocks. I mean, it just feel like you should have your hat on, but I thought I'd probably get hot in a minute. I shan't bother. So, it, it will be cool in the wood. It will be cool. That looks like a bit of old Roman stone. It's got like a distinctive pattern to it. So, here we are, everyone. Quick way up there if you want to go. The cows do all this, look. Cows come in here. I think I've only done this maybe twice in the past, this little path. It is a way, if you were escaping the cows, <clears throat> to come through this way to avoid the cows if they're in that field. And there's none further ahead. But usually, all these fields around here have got loads and loads of cows in them. In the, in the, well, could be the end of February. I mean, they might put them out even earlier. Right, I'm just going to turn off for a minute, take some photos.